Happy birthday, Nintendo Switch! Whoa! It is a whole year since the Nintendo Switch has started off, and yes, it is. I am your host, Chris Tysis, for Nintendo Ninja News. Look at all this stuff. Yes, it is a year since last year. This time last year, I would have been waiting um, in the line for the Nintendo Switch, but... Um, it is celebrating its first birthday, the console, which has barnstormed since day one and has sold 17 million copies and still climbing to this day. Oh, doesn't it feel good? It's been a whole year, a whole avalanche of games has come out for 350 games, probably over 400 maybe, if I'm right or not. And it has been an amazing time. Let's like open up this little box. Because I haven't touched it for nearly a whole year. So, you can see, back in the day, when I got this thing out a year ago, and it was so exciting. Oh, all the papers I shoved in here. So, oh, let's just put that together. And, see if I can close, close it up. Oh, there's your setup thing. You can get from that. But, oh, and there it is on the back. Now, where's my Switch console? Where is he? So, he has officially turned um, a year old, which is fantastic. And I have played many, many hours of the Switch, probably several hundred hours. Maybe not as much as the 3DS at its peak, but it's definitely been um, very, very cool. To, to be able to play a console that really benefits my life. And part of the reason is that I can't sit in the front of the TV all the time. And having something like this that I can take on the go and, and go off and do filming and do other stuff or creative projects, I always have the Switch nearby me, which has always been fantastic. And of course, the the killer thing is the uh, the dock, which of course... Um, has been great. It's very, very small, compact, as we showed off this time last year, doing things like that. Oh, look at this. This looks very shiny. And um, I still don't get the bending of the Nintendo Switch. I have not had a console that is bent. You've just got to gently put it in, just like that. There you go. See, it's not too hard. And this thing has been a really, really great success over its time. Now, um, let's have a look at, just mention some of the games that has come out over its first year, pretty much. Um, what are the games I've gotten? Tiny Barbarian, uh, World of Goo, Human Resource Machine, um, Lost Sphere, Ocean Horn, Rayman Legends uh, Definite Edition came onto the Nintendo Switch, Monster Hunter, Double Cross, which is in Japan, Pokétech Tournament, uh, Dragon Heroes 2, I believe that is, that is in Japanese, uh, Yona and the Celestial Elephants, which was a great game, Super Mario Odyssey, one of the biggest games of the first year of the Switch, um, Former 8, which is a great game, uh, Putu Putio, Tetris, which is a fantastic game. Stick it to the man. Stardew Valley, one of the biggest hits for the Nintendo Switch and is still in the top 10. Graceful Explosion Machine, another great game. Um, we have Star Ghost, which is a great game as well. Embers of Mirion, another little cool indie game. Rocket League has also been a big success, that indie game. Then you have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, of course. The big launch title, that is a year old too. Fast RMX. Fire Emblem's Warriors, people loved. Little Inferno, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's a lot of games. Pinball FX 3 Arms, which is a great new little series. Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, the surprise game of the first year of the Nintendo Switch's life. Inverse. Then you have uh, Bulb Boy. Puzzle Box Maker, another cool game there. SteamWorld Dig. The original SteamWorld Dig 2 that came out. You have Splatoon 2, which is another big one. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which was the big multiplayer game that kicked things off. Minecraft on the Switch has been fantastic. Oxenfree is another great game. Skyrim, 
uh, the Elder Scrolls V, which is excellent. Death Squared, Super One will jump. Kirby is coming out. Bayonetta One or Two. You can tell from just the first year of the Nintendo Switch's life that um, this was going to be pretty good. And I said around this time last year, probably January last year, that the reason why the Wii was so quiet and the 3DS was a bit quiet was that I think Nintendo was lining up all their ducks and ready to have a very, very big first year for the Nintendo Switch. And I think that I was right about that. Of course, I wasn't right about what the final form of the console is, but that's always part of the fun. It's always very hard to predict those type of things. But I am very, very happy about owning a Nintendo Switch. It has changed and made life a lot easier for me playing games. I don't have to deal with two consoles uh, too much anymore. And, of course, the best Pro Controller ever made. Um, this is, has served me very, very well with its 40-hour battery life. And uh, whew, I've, been, I've gotten a lot of hours out of this game. Um, but, yeah, it's... It's been an amazing first year for the Nintendo Switch, and for those expectations of, oh, are we going to have another year like this again? I don't think so, but I think the second year will be solid. It will have quite a variety of different games, and I'm sure that there will be some big Nintendo games coming out for its second year, and it's been an amazing time. So what do you think, and how do you feel about the Nintendo Switch a year after it was launched? It was a fairly big occasion here for Nintendo Engine News. Our unboxing video didn't do quite as well, but all the other all the games that came out for it, the opportunities, wearing cappy hat, the whole cappy hat season, and just all that good fun, um, I think was really, really cool. I enjoyed it, and I hope that people have enjoyed their Nintendo Switches. So, what games do you want to see on the Nintendo Switch? How do you feel about the console after year? And where do you rank the Nintendo Switch compared to other Nintendo consoles? I still feel it's too early. I think you need to take about a good three years in order to get a decent library and to sort of start comparing it once you, you know, because you're comparing to consoles that have a nostalgia factor, hundreds more games, and they have had the whole uh, lifespan sort of, their time is over in the sun. So, happy birthday, Nintendo Switch. It's been a fantastic time. And happy birthday, too, to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It turns one year old. One of the best games of this generation. Maybe all of all time. So, that is it for me. And I shall see you later on. Whee!